Lawrence Blair joins us now from Chochamabama, Bolivia, where a ceremony will be held to celebrate the life and legacy of Che Guevara. Uh, he's also a historian and an expert of, on the political and human rights on this issue. Um, sir, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, my first question is, why are so many people drawn to and inspired by the life of this uh, very revolutionary? Well, I think it's, it's, it's an interesting um, topic. I think people get different uh, readings of Che's legacy and character according to where they're coming from. I think Guevara benefited from the fact that, in a way, uh, to put it this way, he was well, prime. Um, and that sort of legacy enabled him to, uh, to really sort of uh, become all things to all people. As, you know, as, as was mentioned by your colleague in, in Cuba, uh, Che was a doctor, a philosopher, a writer, a diplomat, an agricultural... I mean, he held many different roles in, in, in the course of his fairly short life. And I think this kind of enabled, gives him a sort of duality in his character, the medic turned uh, executioner, the uh, economist turned revolutionary, or economist and also revolutionary. So there's a kind of a, a mixed aspect to his character, which I uh -huh. We know that Che Guevara was an Argentinian. Uh, he spent much of his time in Cuba, and also he's widely celebrated in the entire Latin America. Tell us more about his relationship with the Castro family, uh, especially Fidel Castro, and his role in forming the Cuba's uh, history. And, and Castro, uh, Fidel and Che, sorry, met in Mexico in the 1950s. Um, at that point, uh, Castro had been uh, in, the, in exile uh, in the wilderness for several years, having led a previously failed upbringing. And I think over the course of the night they met in, in the mid-50s in Mexico City, action, let's say, um, I think in a way Castro was the sort of calculating uh, cold strategic intelligence, uh, and Guevara had the sort of visionary, uh, hot-headed, uh, impulsive nature. And I think that served them both very well in their, their, Cu their Cuban campaign. But I think it led to some clashes as well um, once the revolution was over and the hard business of actually governing Cuba and turning it into, um, into, the, into the state which they both dreamed of actually, um, actually became the big task in front of them. Um, some historians, some commentators this later division between Castro and Guevara and, and claimed that Castro actually sent Che to his death in Bolivia. Um, the evidence doesn't really mm -hmm. check, it doesn't really support that, um, but it is clear that uh, Che's campaign in Bolivia was um, far trickier than what he had encountered in... They did have major problems in terms of staying in touch with, right. with, the, uh, with, with Cuba during the course of that I think that's it. also why uh, he's also celebrated uh, in the next couple of days in Bolivia. Thank you so much, uh, Lawrence Blair, live for us from Bolivia.